everyone. My name is Scott Brower. I am a third year PhD student in the Developmental Psychology PhD program in the Applied Psych Department. So my research broadly looks at the developmental outcomes among immigrant origin youth. And by that, I refer to um, people who themselves immigrated, as well as children of immigrants um, and family contexts in which development um, occurs. And I look at a broad range of outcomes that uh, are really important within the developmental sciences. In particular, I've looked at um, educational outcomes, so things like academic achievement and school dropout, as well as mental health and more recently I'm becoming very interested in thinking about civic engagement so the ways in which people are involved in political movements and ideas as well as being connected to their communities both where they're living as well as people communities from where they're coming from and maintaining that engagement. I really came to this program and this department at NYU because, number one, the research was really incredible that was coming out of this program. I was very excited to work with some of the incredible professors here, including my current research mentor, Professor Seljuk Sharon, as well as other colleagues. And when I started taking classes and started understanding how people approach child development, and really critically think about the lived experiences and the context of people's lives and the ways in which these contexts influence child development, that is when my passion really started to emerge for this field. I work to give advice to people that are interested in pursuing a field in child development, I would refer to what I was describing previously as well um, about the importance of understanding lived experiences, how people actually live their lives in context. Um, people live their lives in families, in neighborhoods, in schools. It's important to understand why those contexts are so critical for development and what those contexts facilitate within the developmental periods that we study. Um, as in addition to that, it's also incredibly important to always keep in mind the core ideas that we know about development and developmental science, that early life experiences are critically important for future development. I think a lot of what I do today has been really influenced by earlier life experiences during my adolescent period. Um, I knew friends growing up. I had a very uh, strong connection to online communities. I used to play Minecraft a lot when I was growing up. Um, and I had strong connections to a couple of friends who we're going through some really challenging experiences. Um, we're experiencing depression, um, had severe anxiety, um, we're questioning their sexual identity and uh, struggling to understand what that meant for themselves as well as the ways in which they could connect still with their friends and their families. And I wanted to help in some way. I realized earlier in those experiences that I would not be well equipped to provide um, counseling and therapeutic support, but I wanted to understand why these experiences are happening and how can I actually make a positive impact.